Yo, what's going on guys? This is Soul Striker and today we have a new script coding video and today we're doing it on daily rewards. And uh, as you know, if you play Hypixel or whatever, there is like a daily daily reward system with the delivery man. Uh, we're not going to be coding something with the whole GUI and NPC. Um, I'm just going to be showing you the basic code of how to get a daily reward system going. And then later on, if you get more advanced, we can go ahead and do a video of something similar to that. So let's get right into it. So here is our code from our last episode. If you guys missed it, it will be on the card on the top right hand side of your screen. So basically what we did, we did an on first join counter and you guys can go check that out. You guys go check that out if you did miss it. So we're going to be using on join event for this code as well. And this is going to be the last one of our like on join event system. And then uh, next episode, we'll dive into something else. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll, I'll plan it out. You guys will see it when the new video comes out. But we're going to be going with our new event on join. So basically, what our code is going to be doing is checking uh, when the player joins and setting a delay. So we're, for example, since we're going to be doing daily rewards, we want it every 24 hours. So that way, uh, if you guys have seen like on Hypixel, as I mentioned, they have their delivery man, and that will basically give you a reward that you can claim every 24 hours. If you claim it between 24 hours, like zero between 24, then it will pop up a message saying, hey, you can't claim this yet. So that is basically what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a little bit complicated, but hopefully you guys will understand it. It's pretty simple <laughs> once you get Get used to it but you know if you guys are new and whatever so basically we're going to be calling uh, the on join event and then we're going to be waiting two seconds so the reason why I wait two seconds is because if a player logs in and say they they have really bad internet or they get disconnected for some random reason then we want to make sure that they're actually on the server so that is why I wait two seconds to start the code so now we're gonna go ahead and set another variable so basically I'm gonna be go call this uh, we'll call this weighted so we'll set weighted to difference between and then now we need a new variable and for this I like to use the specific player's name because if for example say you said um, we'll set so if you set the weighted to difference between and this is basically like a global variable if you don't put dot percent player so this represents the player's name it will basically set it as a global variable and if a player joins it it will claim it for everyone so that is why you want to distinguish between a global variable and something per player so for example if someone claimed it then it would claim it for everyone and no one else would be able to claim it until that player that claimed it has the 24 hours so that is why we want to use player so that way each player has a different time because each player claims it at a different time so that's why you want to use uh your player right here so we'll set that between the claim dot player and now then we'll use another if statement so we're going to be saying if our first variable which is called weighted is is a less uh less than 24 hours actually we'll we'll do 30 seconds to make sure it works i know it works but just to show you guys we'll do 30 seconds and then we'll send a message to the player uh, saying um we'll see say you must wait now we need like another specific variable so for example uh, when we use the percent signs to end it off with the player and as well as our join counter when we use percent in the messages and it's saying a specific player or a specific number Th in this case we want our specific number to be the difference between what uh, 30 seconds and zero so we're gonna go difference and then between and then our first variable which is called weighted go ahead and close that off weighted and and then how many uh, time that we want so we want and 30 seconds so that is what we're going to be sending to the player so make sure to end it off with a percent sign close it off with our quotation marks and then we'll go ahead and stop that code and then in this code if our weighted is uh i need to remove that bracket if our weighted is done uh, with our delay then we can go ahead and set our claim bot player to now so we'll go ahead and set and then claim dot player that player to now and then we can go ahead and do a broadcast message uh, actually we'll do a send message so we'll do send and we'll say uh 
your delay is now up so we'll go ahead and send that now we'll go ahead and give the player we'll give the player uh five diamonds five diamonds so we'll go ahead and give the player five diamonds then we'll go ahead and stop that code so basically what it, this is doing is when a player joins we'll wait two seconds uh before we activate the code then we're setting our variable weighted to the difference between a claim that player and now which is another variable that we use then if our waited is less than 30 seconds, we'll go ahead and send a message to the player saying, hey, you must wait uh, this specific amount of time. And then if it's that if that delay is up, we'll go ahead and send them a message saying your delay is up, and then we'll give the player five diamonds. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now in game, we'll go ahead, SK reload join, make sure there's no errors, fantastic. Now let's go ahead and join the server back. Disconnect and reconnect and let's see what happens. So your delay is now up. We got five seconds. So we set it between 30 seconds. So if we go ahead and try that again, uh, we should get a message saying, hey, we must wait. So let's see what happens. Your you must wait 19 seconds before we get our daily reward again. So if we keep on connecting, that time should go down gradually. So it was 19 before and now it's eight. So if we go ahead and uh, connect again let's see what happens if we connect and uh let's see what happens oh we got 80.8 .8 seconds we rejoin again our delay should be up go ahead and connect and then we should get more five diamonds so we got five diamonds now we have 10 diamonds as you see our delay is now up so daily rewards all you want to do is just change it to 24 hours 24 hours and change this to 24 hours as well. So now that is also 24 hours. So everything seems to be working fantastically. So this also uses the on join event. So every time a player joins, they'll see this message. Hey, you must wait uh, this amount of time to claim this reward. So we could also send a message uh, saying your delay is now up. We'll also copy that real quick. And we'll also say, say come back tomorrow and claim more rewards so we'll go ahead and set that as well so as you see we'll have your delay is now up come back tomorrow to claim more rewards go ahead and save that and then we'll go in game and we'll do sk reload join go ahead and disconnect and try to reconnect and we should have our delay message and let's see what happens so i'm actually going to change this to claim your rewards so go ahead and change that so i just uh fixed up the message a little bit added some more color code so it stands out a little bit more so go ahead and save that we'll switch over to our mc sk reload join all right good no errors go ahead and reconnect and let's see if our message fixed so we'll just wait two seconds there we go so you must wait 23 hours and 57.1 minutes to to claim your rewards so that is fantastic that is how you do it every 24 hours so as I use I did use the on join event so you could use different events uh, if you want to check if a player right clicks on your NPC or whatever so this is I just use the on join event to make it all simple you can also use that delay system that I showed you guys with all that code. You can use that for like command cooldowns and basically anything else. Just set uh, whatever, how much you time you want. So as the beginning we had 30 seconds, now we set it to 24. So you can just go ahead and like copy and paste that code if you want to use command cooldowns and everything else. So that is how you do that. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.